Bite check, cut up. Bite check. Bite check, cut up. Bite check. Bite check, cut up. Bite check, cut up. I'm not sure about any of the details. Like I said, I'm writing the story myself. Bite check, cut up. About six years now. Occupy DC, what it do? Occupy DC, what it do? Occupy DC, what it do? Let's get everybody. Let's pop it. We carry out productions. We came to rock with you to represent the new revolution. We are the 99%. If you have an occupied DC right now, we're going to fight for freedom.
turn this, I meant to turn this slip cam off and get me some apple pie. Hi. So ha have the cops gone inside yet? I, I don't know. I haven't seen. But, uh, I saw them just walking around a few minutes ago. They brought the pie. Let's go to the alley and see. <laughs> an abandoned homeless shelter that we took back. So make some noise for that. Yeah. Well, peace, peace. My name is Steph. I'm a representative from the Carry Out crew. You know what I'm saying? But we make music. We do a bunch of events every Friday and Saturday. Every Friday, we do shows at a spot called Ross on Georgia Avenue. You know what I'm saying? For different organizations, different events, but also an everlasting life on Georgia Avenue every Saturday. You know what I mean? So come through and rock with us. But we came through to show some solidarity, represent, rock a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Give you some of our musical stylings. You know what I mean? We're going to be kicking a, few, a couple of freestyles. You know what I mean? If you want to say something on the mic, if you're uh, musically inclined, you're more than welcome to join in the festivities and kick a couple rhymes yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we about to rock it out. My man Jamal Gray is on the beat. My sister Mary I'm in the house. My man Vaughn G in the house. My man Nate G in the house. House, so make some noise, y'all. Make some noise. Make some noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About to get a poppin' real loud for y'all real quick, man. How many, how many hip hop fans we got in the house? Hip hop fans, yeah. hip hop fans. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll try to take it back to the essence, you know. So we love the crowd participation. So to get that proper vibe, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all that love. You gotta give me that love back, all right? You got me? All right, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let me get a hold. 
Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, 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 uh, hold up, hold up, yo, 
September 2008, and it sat vacant for over three years. Now, there's not much they can do with the building because it's historic. And so there's limits to what you can do to the building because of its historic uh, preservation. So, it's, it's just been sitting there. And a lot of folks in the surrounding area were supportive of the closure because they thought that the previous mayor had plans for the building. When they found out he didn't, they're like, you know, this is crazy. Why did you put all that energy into closing it if you had no plans for it? Now, that's the story of Frank. But there's another really neat story. It took place about a mile and a half from here at the CCNV shelter. The CCNV shelter is called the Community, that's the community for Creative Nonviolence. Now, that, that building was actually taken from the feds. You know, this, this was a city building. It still is, actually. And CCNV shelter was begun by some homeless activists back in the 80s. Uh, it was, the building was built in 1940 as an army barracks for World War II. And it was supposed to be temporary. And, well, some things that are meant to be temporary end up becoming permanent here in D.C. And so, 70 years later, the building still stands. Well, it then became the Federal City College, and then FCC actually became UDC, and they moved to a new location. The building sat empty for a bunch of years, and about 700 homeless people would go into that building and squat in there. The pets came in to get them out. And they did civil disobedience. They were organized by a guy named Mitch Snyder. And uh, they went to jail behind it and so forth. And, and uh, Mitch went on a hunger strike. On the day, on the day before his re-election, Reagan finally came in and said, OK, I'll give this building to the city, have it made into a shelter. He got re-elected, and then he broke his promise. Mitch went on another hunger strike, and Reagan finally said, okay, 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 I'll keep my promise. And so he had it turned into a shelter. It was, it was renovated in 1988, and they signed a restrictive covenant to keep it a shelter for 30 years, until 2018. Okay, but anyway, we have here two stories of two buildings that were owned by two different governments here in town, the D.C. government and the federal government, and homeless people, homeless activists, organized and took over and, and had those buildings made into homeless shelters, you know, rather than having folk freeze out on the street. And so D.C. does have a history of the homeless rising up and fighting the system, but that, but sadly, that history is history, you know, and they've lost that fight. And so I hope that going back into Franklin School today is a new beginning for uh, a homeless culture that, that fights for their rights to shelter and to housing. And so on behalf of the homeless community here in D.C., 7,000 strong, I say thank you to all of you for being out here, for doing this, and I see this as a brand new beginning. Thank you. Can I say, living life day by day, minute by minute, never forget it. On the microphone, I got to get with it. Life get hard sometimes like a bitch, but I know that I never switch. Stay my style with it, new change with it, new change with it. Then I come through, get some change with it, new change with it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, evolution. Grab the microphone, never ever substituting, uh, never ever prostituting to nobody. Microphone style straight naughty. Uh, come up on the microphone and get hardly. Uh, you trust in the style boy hardly. Yeah, going in for Occupy DC. Burned up the freestyle, it's free B. You can take it cause I wanna just share it. Share it like kids in school, no damn fool. Uh, just trying to stay smart with it. Burned up and take a part with it. Every time I do my art, I put my heart in it. Yeah, so you know this rhyme is hard in this. Yeah, hard. And it's never ever endless. Forever. I grab the mic and...
better. And you know how we do it forever. We bring it better. And I spit it just like Beretta. Uh -huh. When I be riding in the car, you don't want no wall. Come on, bar. When I bring the draw bar, shout uh -huh. out Obama. Nah, fuck that. Fuck the politics and the politics. I ain't wanting it, cuz they ain't doing their job. They all messing nope. up. And they ain't confessing stuff. And the judge, I'm like, nah, fuck the Supreme Justice. I can't fuck with they whole system. So jump uh, uh -huh. It's like that. Ain't trying to use profanity. Yeah. But sometimes I can't help it. Sometimes it gotta be. Sometimes you gotta curse. Sometimes the system be worse from the, the, from the death to the birth. But I bring it back when I kick a rap. Now I snap like my hat. Snap back to uh, the rap. Uh, and I'm spitting crack. Uh, kinda like Ronald Reagan in the 80s. Shout out to the crack babies who made it. Who still here. Fuck that to the red and the back. And it's all that when I spit a rap. Uh, on track. When it's all yeah. that when I spit a rap. More track like a train. Uh, from my brain. The shit from my brain is insane sometimes. But it's just a product of this life that I well, the life that I live in USA. Heard of, like I said, each and every day. I be so fucking scared, waking fucking up. Grab the microphone and then I just let it up. Just let it out. World up, trying to get clout. World up, grab the microphone and spares out. Cause this how I do it. Express myself through my blood and my fluid. Where how the most high gave me some talent. Grab the microphone and get violent. Violent. Yeah.